wanted to show today in the Make Code Minute is a brand new extension that you can add to Make Code Arcade that is called the uh, Sprite Data extension. And by adding that, I got extra blocks in my Sprites dropdown. So you can see here this data section says set item data and then a string to number or change item data by number as well as set item data and this one stays a string. So let me show you how I'm using these and why I think they're cool. Uh, if I move my character, which is this little computer, to run into this ice cream cone, I get a little dialogue that says ice cream Sally. So I get the name of my uh, character here. And you'll notice that my points in the corner there raised to five. And now when I go meet this pizza, it's going to say Pizza Joe. And we've raised another three points. Uh, and you'll see at this point, running into them again doesn't do anything. I have a little reset I can use, but uh, it's essentially saying I've gotten uh, a meeting with these characters and something has transferred to me. And now what I wanted to show is how this works. When I create my characters here, which are this uh, slice of pizza that I called NPC1. And I'm using one of these data blocks to give a, uh, a few pieces of data. One is this state, have I met it yet? And initially, no, I haven't met it. Second is I've given it a name, which is Pizza Joe, and it's a string. And then third, I've given it these points values, which is three in the case of pizza. And with Ice Cream Sally, it is five. So then when I have a uh, collision or an overlap during the game between my player sprite, uh, here I say on sprite of kind, player overlaps other sprite of kind NPC, non-player character, these things happen. First I check that data that's on the character, so we're reading the character's actual data that it's carrying around to see if we've met before, and if we haven't, then we go and display that uh, string of their name, as well as change the points, and then flip that bit so that we don't run into them over and over again. Uh, so I find this to be really cool, really helpful. It's a way to have a sprite carry around some data with it without building a whole bunch of extra blocks. We just get these very convenient little blocks and the data sticks around with the character or sprite wherever they go. And so that is your Make Code Minute.